Yes, I am so excited. Welcome to the Save the Good Girl podcast. I'm so happy to finally do this. In this first episode, we will be talking about a little bit about me so you know who I am, this beautiful voice and who she is. Also, what does Save the Good Girl mean? What does that mean? And what is this show actually going to be about? And what do I hope to gain from this? What is the purpose of me actually doing this? So continue to stay tuned because we have a lot to get into and I'm so happy you're here listening. So welcome, welcome to Save the Good Girl. So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Um, Just wanted to give you a little bit of information about me. I am the host of the new and amazing podcast of Saturn and Mars because there's too much going on on Earth right now, okay? I'm just going to claim Saturn and Mars and then I'll be the number one podcaster on Earth pretty soon. Um, Just claiming it. This is not a cockiness. It's just claiming it. (laughs) So my name is Erica and I live in New York, born and raised in NYC and uh, live in Queens specifically. So I don't know, like, it's so hard to like talk about myself, like about me and like, I can write about it, but then talking about it on a, on this kind of level, I don't know. It's just pretty interesting. So I'm going to try my best to give you some information about me. Um, So I was born July 28, 1987, which means I am 32 years old and a Leo. And I mean, I look like I'm really 22 though. So I'm just saying. Um, So I really do enjoy being an extroverted person. Like I enjoy being extroverted. Like I love meeting people. I love talking to people. I, I enjoy really good, good, good conversation. Like I love a good sit down conversation with friends, family, whoever. Um, I'm the oldest of three. I have a little sister and a little brother and I love them. Love my family. I also love my friends. I, I have a really good good circle of friends. And, you know, we're going to really talk about family and friendships and all that. I'm going to get into that. But I really do have a good um, circle of friends. I call them the BTS crew because they bully me to success. I was supposed to do this podcast a while ago. And um, now we're here. And I'm so happy that I'm doing it because I got a lot to say. Um, <laughs> I have a lot to say. I love R&B. Love R&B. Um, enjoy the arts. I like poetry. I used to write poetry. I haven't written a poem in a while, but I, I used to write a lot of poetry. I like painting. Um, I enjoy paintings and I like reading. Uh, I told myself like, okay, you got to read like 10 pages a day or at least two pages a day. Cause I used to read a lot and then I stopped. So I'm like, I need to get back into that. Um, also I like fashion. I like to dress up. <clears throat> I was supposed to do a, a, a blog like a few years ago and I never really did it because I felt like I didn't really connect to it in terms of me keeping up with it. So that didn't happen <laughs> with me doing the fashion blog. However, I like to dress up. When it's time for me to show out, I will show out. Okay. Trust me. Um, I love traveling. It took me some time. Um, I started my traveling journeys when I was 22 years old. And I'll tell you why. It took me some time because my friends were traveling since uh, the beginning, like I would say 18, 19 years old in college. And I and I didn't. So we'll get into why I didn't travel until I was 22 years old. But I enjoy traveling, love the beach, love the water, love a rooftop. If I'm in New York and there's any rooftops opening, I will be there because I love just the view. I love a good view, you know? Uh figuratively and physically. I love, I love a good view. And um, I love seafood. I love pasta. I just love being around good energy. That really is it. I love being around good energy. And my hope is to bring that good energy into this beautiful podcast and, um, you know, just bring a different perspective into this podcast, you know. I'm also God fearing, so you may hear me talk about God here and there. I'm spiritual. I just want to make that clear. However, I'm not gonna. I'm not a preacher, so this is why I need to explain why am I calling this "Save the Good Girl" because it sounds kind of in that direction, but it's not. So <laughs> we will definitely get into why am I calling it "Save the Good Girl," but just some information about me. Um, I feel like doing this is my purpose. I have had too many signs of me doing this podcast. I've always envisioned myself doing a radio show when I was a younger little girl. 
And I don't know, I just never thought about it because I think when you are in high school and college, you have this linear uh, mindset of how things are supposed to be. You go to college, you get your internship, you graduate, you get your job, you have your career and, and you know, you just kind of excel in your career. And um, I was thinking about doing a podcast for a while and fear, we'll get into that. Insecurity, we'll get into that. Self-doubt, we'll get into that. Kind of just all of that was um, in my mind, and I was, it just kind of delayed me. So here we are. Here we are. Finally, I'm pushing past my fears, and I'm I'm hoping that you listening to this podcast and listening to the episodes helps you too. That's the goal. You know, I have a very different way of looking at things, and I realize that there's a need for someone like me because there's conversations that people are still not having. Or if they're having it, I always have something to add. And I'm just like, I'm just going to do my own thing and add my own flavor to it and then share it with the world. So I I truly do feel like this is my purpose. There's so many signs leading me to do this. So I'm pushing past that. I am a hopeless romantic as well. I'm single. My man is in traffic right now. Um, He's coming, but I think he's in traffic, but I'm single, but he's coming. I think he's in traffic. I don't know. I think I'm just going to find out, you know, GPS be acting up. Um, So, you know, I joke around a lot. So this podcast is going to be funny, informative, you know, interactive and all of that all in one. And I'm the CEO of Get It Together. I'm the vice president of Doing Too Much and the manager of Stop Doubting Yourself. That's pretty much where I'm at, you know. I really love candles <laughs> as well. So all of that really is to just calm me down. And um, that's a little bit about me. So I really want to get into why, like, what is this show going to be about? Why am I calling it Save the Good Girl? What does that mean? Let me tell you guys why I'm calling it Save the Good Girl. <laughs> Save the Good Girl actually came about, I would say a couple of years ago. I was writing like Facebook quotes and I would always end it with the hashtag Save the Good Girl out of nowhere. And um, I really just like the sound of that. And the reason why I liked Save the Good Girl was because I felt like, I felt like at the time that there's so many good parts within me. And I think at that moment, you know, you have your dark moments and you forget that. So when I was writing these quotes, it was really for me, even though it was helping others, but it was really to help myself. And I put hashtag save the good girl because I'm like, listen, there's certain parts of me, even I'm not in this good space where I made this certain mistake. I'm still a good person. And to be honest with you, I think majority of the world is good. I do. Um, And Save the Good Girl is just talking about the fact that we are not our past mistakes. You know, we are not our past. I really believe that there's good within us. I think that sometimes our past mistakes or how we were raised or the heartbreak that we've had or insecurities, whether it's from a professional standpoint, a family, your man, your ex-boyfriend, a friend, um, all of that can kind of tarnish sometimes how we feel about ourselves. So Save the Good Girl also is not just for women. Like I encourage men to listen to this as well. The whole purpose of this is to save the parts in us that are still good. Don't let your mistakes or bad decisions slow down any progression that you have made. So this is why I'm calling it Save the Good Girl. It's not like I'm going to be a savior, but I have realized that changing your perspective can literally change your whole life. Maybe something that I will say or an experience that I've had and how I've handled it, my mistakes can stop you from making that same exact mistake. Or maybe when you make your mistake, it'll be less harsh. Or if you've made the mistake or if you've gone through something, um, maybe different ways to deal with it, right? Like there's always good ways to deal with certain things. There's always, there's always a better way to deal with something. And that's why I literally am calling it Save the Good Girl. And if you look at my artwork, um, the artwork right now is a coffee and it says begin and it's like a coffee shop. And I love coffee. If anybody knows me, I love coffee. I love a good cup of coffee. Not because I needed to wake up. I'm not one of those people. I truly enjoy drinking coffee. And I like that coffee shop environment where you you sit down, you're about to have a good cup of coffee or tea, and you guys are just sitting down, you just relax, you're calm, and you're talking. I've never been to a coffee shop that didn't calm me down. Um, 
Well, Starbucks in the city might <laughs> might be a little crazy, but I just like that coffee shop vibe. And I feel like these conversations are coffee shop kind of, you know, kind of conversations. So that's why I even did my artwork like that. Um, just to kind of have that, have that vibe. So yeah, so save the good girl. That's exactly why I'm calling it that, you know, I really feel like there's a lot of good, you know, we just, we just got to keep pushing and I'm hoping that what I'm saying or what I'm offering or my perspective on things can kind of spark something within you. And you're like, Oh, I didn't even think about doing it like that. Or I didn't think about this in that way. There's still so many conversations I feel in the podcast world, YouTube world, in the world that are not really happening or if they are happening, not to the extent that that I would actually talk about it. Not to the extent that, you know, just going a little deeper, going a little further into certain conversations and just offering different perspectives about certain topics, you know, and we'll definitely get into the certain topics I'm going to be talking about. But I really thought about like how awesome it would be if we really knew how powerful we were earlier, Um, a day earlier, a minute earlier, an hour earlier. We are very, very powerful people. And I think that, again, the experiences we've had, the things that happen to us, you know, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% of how you react to it. And I've heard that um, quote before, and I really, really, really believe in that because it's actually really, really true, you know, how we actually react. And that's what I'm here for. I want to talk about the reaction to things and kind of go through the emotions as you're going through them as well, right? Like on a really, really realistic standpoint. This is not a, an advice where it's like, okay, this is what you do da, 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 to feel better. We are going to talk about the emotions, like how you felt when you go through it, how, how I felt when I went through something. And, you know, there's certain conversations that we will have that I may have to listen to certain episodes myself because I'm still learning as well. So that's why I'm calling it Save the Good Girl. I really, really want to um, assist in developing and growing abundantly the good that we all have within us. And I think that if we shift our perspectives, we can take that portion of it, bring that to others. And then from there, everyone can expand in a different way. Right. So that is why I'm calling it Save the Good Girl. When you think about Superman or Batman and they, you know, they Clark Kent and Clark, Clark Kent, that's his name. Right. Mm -hmm. So Clark, Clark is going, you're saving these, you know, people and then they come down. Does that mean that after he saves them that they're saved for the rest of their life and they won't get into danger? No. But at least with this podcast, in the event that, you know, things happen, you can always listen to them as many times as you want to help you get to that better space, or you can recommend this podcast to someone that you feel like, you know what, I think this podcast will be good for you because the topics we're about to talk about, ooh, they are going to be good, okay? I mean, really, really good. So that's why I'm calling it Save the Good Girl. Again, men, you are here Um, ladies, you are here with me. We are going to get through all of these wonderful topics together. And, you know, that's why I'm calling it that it's, it's just really to save the good within us. There's a couple of things to expect from the show, especially just listening to me and my dynamic, um, personality that I already have. But some of the topics that I'll be talking about is a lot of things that we deal with in just adulthood, whether it's dating, relationships with your family, relationship with friends and how that changes over time, um, dealing with gossip, dealing with you know career things, dealing with any self-intrinsic things that we all deal with and how to kind of get over certain things um, in terms of like doubt. You know, We'll talk about insecurities. We'll talk about sex. We'll talk about um, being patient. Well, there's so many different topics that I definitely want to talk about circumstances and what do you do when you're angry? What do you do when you get laid off? What do you do when somebody breaks your heart? How do you feel when this happens or that happens and certain scenarios as the podcast progresses, I will have interviews because I don't know everything. And I love to have conversations with my friends normally and people who have experiences in certain things or just more have an expertise level 
on certain things just on a natural level. So I would love to incorporate that and I will have interviews. I aspire to be married and I have a wonderful example with my parents who've been married for over 30 years. So I can talk about what I've seen, but I would love to interview a couple who is married or talk to my friends who are single mothers and how they navigate that. Talk to friends who are entrepreneurs and have them on the show. You know, talk to people about various things. So it's going to be a very fruitful, dynamic, filling show for sure. And more so at the end of each episode, the key focus is that I walked away with something. I was inspired by this. I changed my perspective on that. So the show is going to have so many different topics. Like, do you really want a relationship or do you want an F buddy? How about that? Do you, you know, do you really know what you want in a partner? Do you, um, is that person in your life, even though they haven't done anything to you physically, can you still really be friends with them um, because of, let's say, X, Y, and Z? So we're just going to, we're going to explore these things together where we will explore these things together. So that's just the taste of certain topics we will talk about. This is not like a gossip show where I talk about celebrities and stuff like that. I may utilize them on as an example, but that's not this kind of show. Um, this is just a very, just offering a different perspective in other topics, you know? So I feel really excited because I actually have so many episode topics just based off of inspiration I pull from talking to my friends or talking to family or seeing certain things. And I'm just like writing everything down. So I have so much to share. I, I like, I can't wait to talk about that, you know, comparing ourselves to other people and how that really puts a halt in us. Um, faith, talking about faith, believing, which is something that I still have to work on, but really just exploring all of these topics. It's, it's, it's a lot. And, um, every week, you know, definitely we will tackle some of them. And as time goes on, you I can take feedback. So if there's certain topics you're like, Erica, I really want you to talk about this, or I want to get your insight about that. I would love to talk about that. I like to keep myself so informed and I like to share. So things about money, about debt that I'm learning that I can share with you guys, certain tips that may work for you that I've learned. Um, and I can just give you guys the cliff notes of the things that that I've learned or talking to people and seeing, oh my gosh, you know what? I realized that I've learned this about that. So <clears throat> just understanding that um, the episodes are going to be very, very, it's going to be a lot of variety. I'll tell you that. It's not going to be just about one particular thing, but the theme is that somehow, some way, some shape or form there should be some aha moment. That's my goal for you. So it's going to be a really dynamic um, podcast. It's it's just, uh, you know what? And I might get stuck on some things and I might be like, wait, <laughs> hold on. Let me really think about this while I'm talking to you about it. I want this to be as organic and raw and authentic as possible. And, you know, I just want to make sure that my message is really coming across smoothly. So these are some of the things that you can really expect from it. We will get back to this fabulous episode, but I just wanted to let you know that you can find Save the Good Girl on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and YouTube. There is also a chance for you to be featured on the show. Check out the link in the description to send me a voice message. In addition to the podcast, did you know that Save the Good Girl has a blog? Be a part of VIP by subscribing to the email list on savethegoodgirl.com. So many options to stay connected. All right, let's get back to the episode. I'm doing this show really to fulfill my purpose. So I just wanted to share. So I was watching a show on OWN called Cherish the Day. And I stopped watching it. No reason in particular. I think I just got a little busy and I wasn't watching it as consistently. So a couple of days ago, I was like, you know what? I want to watch the, I just want to finish the show. I think the season is still going on and I just wanted to finish the show. And in the show, I'm not going to give it away just in case if you want to watch it. But in the show... I found it a bit peculiar that the episode that I was left off of was an episode where one of the main characters 
was talking to, I think it was like an agent. And she's like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start a podcast. And then in the show, she ends up being like the the number one podcaster um, in the show. So I'm just like, wow, that's a sign. And then not only that, but the fact that I didn't didn't really talk about doing the show as much until people just kept mentioning to me, like, you should do the show. You should do the show. You have to do the show. You need to do your podcast. So I just, I took all of this as signs. And I'm just like, wow, like I, I thought that was very interesting that I stopped watching the show. And then as soon as I went to watch it again, where I left off was talking about doing a podcast and it just never stopped. I kept hearing it all over again. And the truth is I got inspired by so many people who started doing their own thing. I was really inspired by that. And that's why it's so important to have people who are you know, doing their, their thing, whether it's like growing with their careers or doing their own thing. It's, it's, it's inspiring. Cause you're like, wow, like you're really doing it. And okay, I guess I can do it too. You know? So let me try this. I also am doing this because I really, really find joy when other people are happy. I find joy when other people have overcome something. I find joy when I can be of service to someone by something that I've said. And that makes an impact for them. That really, truly makes me happy. And with every revelation comes an elevation. You know, you've changed because you've realized something. And understanding that literally a brand new perspective can seriously change your life. Like just changing the way you think for a split second can change everything for you. So I'm doing this because I really want to fulfill my purpose. I really feel like this is something that I have to do. I've encouraged about maybe almost 10 people to go to therapy. I have spoken to a girl who really reminded me of myself when I was younger, who was just not traveling, not doing anything because she was insecure. And I spoke to her about insecurity and how you can't let that win. And, you know, I really, really gave her like some advice on things that just understanding where she was coming from. And so to hear in a two days that she was cleaning her room and she made a list and she mend the relationship with her mother and she started doing her hair, like her whole energy changed from a 30 minute conversation. So I started to look at all of these things and see that as, wow. I have a purpose to really do this (laughs) and I have the platform to do it. I don't need a big machine. I can do this on my own. So this is the purpose and and why I'm definitely doing this. And I, when I like something, I'm going to market it. Like I'm a natural marketer. Like I will call my friends like, oh my God, did you smell this candle? Oh my God, you have to try this restaurant. Oh my God, you have to go here. Oh my God, listen to the song. Like I'm one of those people that get really, really, really excited and I am really just now a marketer of a, a new product and it's called Inner Peace. I like I can't explain to you how it feels to have inner peace. It is so <laughs> it's just really really just a different experience when you are good from within. And I'm not going to say that I'm good as imperfect, but I definitely am better than I was before. So I just feel like it's literally my purpose to do this. It's my purpose to get this done. And again, as I've stated before, I really, really want to inspire and motivate others, either based on my stories, based on the interviews that I'll do, like just a different way of you to look at things. You know, I really want you to be inspired by that. And it just makes me happy just giving you those examples or talking to my friends and giving them advice and seeing how that changed for them. Um, It definitely makes me happy and seeing people successful with themselves. It it just, it just makes me hype. That's a real New York moment, but it makes me, (laughs) it just makes me mad hype. You know, I get excited for that. So that's really, really why I'm doing this. Like I just, like I I know, like even if I have 10 people listening and they like, oh my God, I was inspired, that will make me so happy for real. You know, it really, really, really would. So I don't know, I just got that hype. I just want to be excited with all my peoples. I just want us to be better. I just want us to be better. I just want us to be on our way to greatness. You know, there's so many selves that we have. It's not literally just getting you to 
your best self, it's getting you to your okay self, it's getting you to your I don't care self, it's getting you to the, you know, I'm not really feeling myself self, but I'm trying self, you know, and then on the road to your, to your best self. And um, that's what I'm hoping to gain. This is going to be a conversation starter. This is like our, you know, coffee shop moment, you know, like the coffee shop. Even if you don't drink coffee, if you go into a coffee shop, they have like that nice like jazz and R&B and you're just chilling. You're just really, really in a chill mood. You can just talk whatever you want. You could talk your shit, but you're chilling. And that's exactly what, what I want. And I just want to have continued motivation because I feel like what happens after you watch a positive video on YouTube? You feel so good. But then what happens after that? What what, what happens when you don't feel good? What happens when you lose your motivation right after you just watch the motivational video? It happens all the time. People watch videos about how to not procrastinate and still procrastinate. So it's like, those people are me. (laughs) It's okay. So (laughs) I'm trying to get better. Um, But what happened when you... What happens when you, you know, you watch these videos and there's no motivation. I'm I'm hoping to have continued motivation here. I'm hoping to provoke a conversation, start a conversation. You know, I can't wait till I start interacting with people and I see comments and people are leaving me messages. I can't wait for that too, because the reality is I'm going to learn from you as much as you're going to learn from me. I can say something and it's like, no, Erica, like, actually, if you look at it from this way, blah, 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 like we can have a conversation. I can't wait for that. So, um, I'll definitely get into how you can communicate with me and everything like that, but I just can't wait to get in, into that conversation. One thing I will talk about now is a little disclaimer. I am not a therapist. I suggest that, you know, if you need professional help, you should definitely talk to a licensed um, therapist, I can definitely help you with anything further. I'm just here to kind of give you some, a little guidance, but I'm not a therapist. And also something that I've noticed with a lot of people is that for some reason you can't change your mind. It's like, when you say something, that's like your word. I'm learning every single day and I can change my mind based on new perspectives, learning from you, learning from an article, learning from people. Like I, like my, my opinions may change. So what I'll say is a disclaimer, I may change my mind. I may say something in one episode and maybe say, you know what? I feel this way. So I, I don't want us as in us as a group to be held to that. You know how like you change and your friends or family or your partner or whoever, they still see the old you. They don't see the new you. So this is going to be a progressive movement based on the things that I'm learning. I may change. So that's just my disclaimer. Understanding that sis might change her mind. Okay. Don't hold me to it. <laughs> right. We'll talk about it, but don't hold me to it. I might change my mind. So like, don't get crazy. And, um, you know, just like, just understand that this is going to be a fun place. It's going to be a fun place. It's going to be a dynamic place. Like I said, I can't wait to interact with you guys and really like get your feedback as things are getting better. And, um, it's just going to be so interactive and fun and, just different. Like, seriously, I just want this to be different. I just want this to be something you look forward to every single week. Like, it's just going to be dope like that. A dope ass podcast. Oh, I like that. Dope ass podcast. Dope ass podcast. I should have called it that. (laughs) Maybe somebody already has that already. I don't even know, but it's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. And, um, I just, I really, (laughs) we're going to get started so soon with all these episodes and, um, ah, it's going to be good. You you felt that release? Ah, Yeah. That means it's going to be good. (laughs) I hope after listening, you have a better understanding of what I hope to gain with this podcast where it's really about self-improvement and really just an interactive podcast and talking about just life, adulthood, and just different topics that may come along. So 
I am very excited to do this. Doing this podcast is pushing past my fears that I've had for a very long time. And I just decided, you know what? It's time. I don't have an excuse at this point. Um, I had the materials for a long time (laughs) and I just never used it. So now this is the time to just try. There's nothing wrong with trying. And this is it. And this is my baby right now. This is my baby. My baby. Sorry. I might go into songs sometimes. Don't mind me. In my mind, I think I'm Beyonce. And when I get dressed up, I think I'm Tyra Banks. So it's just it's a lot of um, identity issues going on. But anyways, um, <laughs> thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for listening. Definitely share this with your friends. Share this with your family members. Um, it's going to be a really good show. And I will see you soon. Again, thank you guys for listening to Save the Good Girl podcast. I feel like we're connecting. So let's make sure we're connected. You can find Save the Good Girl on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Did you know about the Save the Good Girl blog? Yes, there is a blog. Check out savethegoodgirl.com to subscribe to the fabulous VIP email list and be the first to know about new podcast episodes, new blog posts, and giveaways. In addition to listening to Save the Good Girl on many platforms like Apple, Google, Spotify, and many more, you can also subscribe to the Save the Good Girl YouTube channel if YouTube is more of your thing. There are so many options to stay connected and be a part of the Save the Good Girl community. For all updates, or if you just want to contact Contact me to say hello, ask me a question, or send me a comment. Check out the contact section on savethegoodgirl.com.